Next story now. The latest addition to NASA's space inventory is a $23 million titanium microgravity toilet suited specifically for women. The much talked about toilet seat got its not so dry run at the International Space Station before setting off on its maiden journey to outer space. Weighing roughly 45 kilograms, the seat is all packed inside a cargo ship ready for its blast off to the moon from Wallop Islands in Virginia. Now called the Universal Waste Management System, the toilet is one of two upgraded toilets that NASA is making to the tune of $23 million. Let's say you're up here on ISS and you need to go to the restroom. You want to come to this cabin and the first thing you want to do is grab this piece of equipment and turn this rotor switch 90 degrees to the open position. What that does is it turns on a fan which creates a suction effect in this hose so that you can use this yellow element for your number one. For number two, the principle is actually exactly the same, suction. We have a solid waste container here and on top of it is this uh, seat. Uh, and the solid waste container is connected via this hose to the same fan so that, again, the same suction effects allows you to do your number two in weightlessness. The latest toilet comes with highly developed suction capacity, making it easier to manage the mess. Now, one last big upgrade on the system, that is, it's all automatic. NASA has done some testing with the toilet on the ground, orienting it in different positions to see how well the suction worked. With the model that just launched is destined for the ISS. The second identical toilet will also be added to NASA's future deep space crew capsule called Orion. So that's sort of two slightly separate functions, but you can do a little essentially both by doing